right, welcome again guys. This is Ivan from BrittanyBits.com and I'm going to bring you another tutorial today. Uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to use one of these um, stepper motors that comes with uh, its own uh, little driver board. Uh, but we're going to do it differently. We're going to use uh, the remote control that we did a tutorial on um, a while back. You could check out our channel and I'll leave a description in uh, the YouTube description if you want to check that one out. And basically what this does, we're going to use the remote with the little IR sensor that's right here. Uh, so I'm going to go through the connections, and then we're going to go see the code and see what we're going to do. And then we'll come back and uh, see the results. So the way I plug this in, since this is a motor, I don't want to plug it directly to the Uno. Because uh, motors tend to draw more or less power depending on uh, the torque that uh, is put on them. And... I don't want to damage the uh, power supply on the Uno. So we're going to start with this guy here. So the stepper connects directly to the driver board. And then I'm going to take the 5 volt out. And I'm going to take the ground and the voltage. And put it on the breadboard rails right here. So the negative is here and the positive. And then I'm going to use this little uh, breadboard power supply. That's uh, really handy and in inexpensive. Easy to use. And I'm plugging it in this little power supply here so it's a 9 volt 1 amp so this is powering our little breadboard power supply and there's uh, you have two rails so basically I could say uh, okay this rail is going to be 5 volt this is going to be 3.3 volt or I could just disable it so I put the jumper on so it provides 5 volt to this rail right here so when I press the button this is powering up taking 9 volts and putting 5 volts on this rail. So that's for the power of the stepper. Now the board has 4 pins in 1 through 4 and I connected those to the 8, 9, 10 and 11 pin on the Uno. So that's uh, the connections we need for the stepper and the little IR sensor only uses one pin for signal and of course the two others for voltage and ground. This I connected directly to the Uno, 5 volts and ground. And the signal pin is on uh, pin number 6. Uh, this almost uses no power. And at the same time, I don't want the uh, motor to interfere with the uh, IR sensor. So there we go. That's the connections we're going to use today. So we're going to cut here, go to the uh, code. I'll explain what we're going to do, and then we'll come back and see the results. See you soon. Okay, so here we are in our code. This is the code we're going to use today. Uh, first of all, we're going to include two uh, libraries. The first one is Stepper, and the other one is IR Remote. Uh, Stepper comes installed with the ID Arduino IDE software. IR Remote, uh, if you don't have it, you can download it on our website. Once you have it, just extract it to your Arduino libraries. IR Remote, there it is. And the other one that's included should be there called Stepper. So once you've extracted it, just restart your ID software. First thing we're going to do, we are going to define variables and pins at the beginning. So we're defining the step variable as 32 because our stepper has the, the internal shaft as, to, as 32 steps to actually do a one revolution. The second one steps to take, uh, that uh, is um, to get one revolution with the gearing and everything. It's 2048. Then the pin number six, that's the uh, IR receiver is connected to our, our, uh, our Uno digital pin six. And then we declare some object because uh, to step uh, stepper, you need to energize the coil in a proper sequence. For this one, it's one, three, two, four, uh, meaning in one, two, in three, and in the four must be in that sequence. So we uh, start our stepper, small steps 32, and then we declare the pins that we are connected to, 8, 10, 9, 11, because 8 is num connected to in 1, 10 is connected to in 3, 9 is connected to 2, and 11. So that's important. You need to have the right sequence or else the uh, stepper won't run. Then we do, we create an instance for our receiver and to decode the X results of the IR remote. Uh, the setup is pretty simple. We're just enabling starting the IR receiver. And then we have our main loop that starts right here. So first thing we're going to check if we have received an IR signal. If we have, then we're going to switch the values and do a case. 
So a case basically is kind of like a if loop, but it says case if case x equals to the up button press, then we're going to do this. We're going to set the speed of the stepper 500. Uh, I've tested it maximum uh, to not skip any steps or stalls is uh, around 700 for those uh, motors. Then we set our 2048 to rotate clockwise since it's a positive value. And then we say the steps to take, so basically it's equal to 2048, which equals one revolution. We uh, pause for two seconds after that. And then it breaks, so it gets out and it says resume, so we receive the next value, so it starts over again. The second case is if I press the down button, set speed is the same, except we're using a negative value to go counterclockwise and we break out again and that's it so it's pretty simple so we're gonna verify our code make sure it works there's no errors so now we're gonna upload it to our uno and we're gonna go back to our breadboard and uh, see the results so let's go take a look all right so we're back to our breadboard we already uploaded the code we were looking at on our uno so the way this is gonna work I'm gonna press up it should do a full rotation one way Press down, do another rotation counterclockwise. I put this little uh, shameless promotion here so you could see the rotation of the uh, stepper a little bit better. Sorry about that. So the way we're going to start, we're going to put power on our breadboard to power our stepper. And then I'm going to plug in the Uno. There we go. Wait for it to boot up. It's ready. Nothing's happening because it's waiting for a code from our little remote. So I'm going to press up. And there it goes, full rotation clockwise, and it should stop. There we go, and I'm going to press down for it to go the other way. And there you go. So there you go, this is one way to uh, use an IR remote to control a motor, a stepper motor, or anything else for that matter. Uh, these remotes are pretty good, I've tested them, they can reach about 10 meters uh, indoors. Of course, if you're outdoor with the lighting and everything, it might not reach as far. So thanks again for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, check out in the description. We have a link to download the schematics and the library we used, also the code. And uh, subscribe to our channel. We put out uh, tutorials uh, every week. So once again, thanks again for watching, and I hope to catch you guys later. Take care.